Hey guys and welcome back. Today's the day the Q&A video is here. Oh yeah! First of all, you guys are amazing. I got over 600 questions. It took me a while to read through all of them, but I think I have a lot of questions and you might be happy with the answers. But before we start our Q&A video, I wanna thank you guys because you know what? We did it. 50,000 subscribers. Oh yeah, baby! The fitness community on YouTube is growing fast. So thank you guys, that was amazing. And since you guys like challenges, how about you do 20 air squats while I'm talking, okay? You start as soon as you see a number right there and then follow the numbers, all right? Here we go. Oh my God, sorry guys, sit down again. We have to wait a little bit. Before we start our air squat challenge, I wanna give a shout out to two wonderful ladies who did the push-up challenge and sent the video. Quincy Walden, well done. Here's a clip. Hey Johannes, it's Quincy here. I'm going to do my girl push-ups. And Nana, she also did the 10 push-ups and sent the video. Here we go, 10 push-ups. Well done, both of you guys. It was amazing. I was so happy when I saw it. So yeah, I, I don't know what to say. It was just, it was just amazing. So special day for you. So how about we start the actual Q&A video? I'm ready. I'm gonna read the comments from right here from my computer. So if I'm, if I'm not staring at the camera, you know why. I apologize if I mispronounce your name. It's not on purpose. All right, here we go. Alice Pavgert. Can someone tell me where he's from? I can tell you. I'm from Austria. That was, that was easy. Next question. Joanna Bade. Question, how old are you? I'm 29. Vitu Yenkiebat. How tall are you? I'm 5 foot 10 or 178 centimeters. Death Devil. Wann, also in welchem Alter wusstest du, dass du in die USA willst und vor allem, was du dort machen möchtest? By the way, du bist der Beste. I like the combination, like the by the way and then German. I vividly remember the day and the you know, the moment when I told my dad that I want to live in the United States. It was in my parents' house in, in the living room um, and we were watching Wetten Das. <music> Wetten Das was a big thing. When you were younger and you were allowed to watch that, that's just amazing because you were allowed to stay up all night. Not, not all night, but like pretty long, right? Like till, I don't know, 11? <laughs> The show was just, you know, people came with uh, special talents and I don't know why, but there's one guy, I, I remember that guy. There was this box made of glass and there were a lot of flies in there. Yes, flies. And he, he was like, I can catch 10 flies with my mouth. So what he did was this, there was a glass and when the fly was right in front of him, he blew on top of the fly so he can't fly away and then he caught it with the mouth like this. Back to the story. And on that show, they also had performers, right? Special guest, she was there. It was Britney Spears. And I fell in love immediately. I was like, she's beautiful. Then her song, I don't know what song it was, but I was like, dad, I want to move to the United States. <laughs> yes, it was because of Britney Spears. <laughs> and, my, and my dad looked me dead in the eye. And he was like, are you serious? And I was, I was young, right? And I was like, yes. He's like, do you, do you feel it? I was like, yes, I, I want to do that. And he's like, then you have to do it. That was basically the first time when I said I want to move to the United States. Of course, you know, I was young, but it was, it was right here. It was all the time. It was right there and it didn't, it didn't go anywhere. I don't know, Easter secret. How often do you visit home in Austria? Um, I, don't, I don't really know, but I think in the last couple of years, in the last two years, I've been there probably three or four times for just a week or two. Brandon Phillips, 13. When did you start training? That's a tough one too, because I don't know, like that there, there wasn't a specific day or age when I started working out, because I went to a school, a sports school, you know? Like you have classes and like math and biology, and we had 10 hours of physical education every week. On top of that, I was in a soccer team. I had tennis practice. Um, at one point, I was in the school volleyball team. Um, I think I started playing soccer when I was around six or seven years old. And then from then on, it just happened that I did everything because I realized sports is my thing. I love it. Um, at that point, I have to say thank you to, to my parents because they gave me the opportunities to just do everything. Like I said, I was in a soccer team, had tennis practice, volleyball, 
like pff, that's not easy and i think i started working out when i was 12 years old like you know with push-ups crunches um pull-ups and i had my baby weights at home i didn't have a plan i just did it because i saw it on 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 tv or on youtube right and then i just you know copied everybody eddie midzen nine when did you start going to the gym hashtag battle block started when i was 12 years old but i think the first gym membership i think it was at the age of 14 yeah i don't know why i don't know what it was but something it was very powerful to be in the gym even though i had no idea what i was doing it was just very uh, it gave me a lot of energy got out of the gym i was like yo this was so cool i want to go back especially when i had my first muscle soreness like the entire day and i couldn't move i was like oh my god i have to go to the hospital i i destroyed my body um had no idea what it, what that was right i haven't felt that before so i was like oh my god what is that <laughs> It was a great feeling. I, I, I remember that. It's cool. Axel SB. How's your Spanish? Um, vale. Mis conocimientos en español son muy pequeños, pero tengo que hablar más porque es muy importante para, what is it? Mejorar mis conocimientos. Here we go. Marine CRD. Do you know some French words? Oui. Oh, je parle un peu français. Je suis autrichien. J'ai 29 ans. <laughs> now we move on to the bigger questions. But before we do that, I have to change the battery. So, hold on. Whoop. Whoop. And we're back, guys. Brent Permentier. I'm sorry, I don't know. When you first started training and basically still were a noob, what was your motivation or who did you look up to? I think the biggest inspiration was and still is my dad but in terms of fitness i would say arnold schwarzenegger because i grew up with all of his movies um you know terminator one two three like all the action movies and then his physique and it was just you know it was so dominant and it was like huge i think he was a big inspiration when i grew up um to just follow my dream and don't give up no matter what people say so yeah arnold schwarzenegger is the answer tom tom sebastian my question is, why did you move to LA? And by the way, your vibes are real, bro. You're awesome. Thanks for replying to my comment in one of your videos. So here, here it is. It's your comment in the video. As I said, when I was 12 years old, all I saw, like for me personally, for me at that age, there was only LA. That was the United States. There was nothing else. You know, I had no idea. Um, so I don't know. It was something in my head. And then when I grew up, I wanted to become an actor. And I was like, okay, Hollywood is the only way. I used to live in Burbank for a year because I went to an acting school. And as soon as I graduated, I moved to Hollywood because I, I knew that's the place to be. So Rasmus Fisher, when did you move to the United States and was it hard to leave the family? <laughs> um, yeah. It, <laughs> it was, it was pretty hard. I made the decision to move to the United States and it's just, it wasn't easy. I lost over 15 pounds in the last months just because I was so stressed and scared because it, I think it was and still is, it was the biggest decision I've ever made in my life. A life-changing decision. Now I know that it was the best decision ever because I haven't been that comfortable in my body, in my life ever. But looking back and seeing myself, I feel it right away that I was, I was a mess. I was so scared. Um, to do it because I had to leave everything behind my job my friends my family and then you move to another country and You don't know anybody and the language barrier was still there because I wasn't able to communicate the way that I am Like I can right now this this question sounds very negative like my answer sounds very negative But it's not it was just a hard time and it just showed me who my my, my real friends are who supported me throughout the entire journey. This whole process was very important for me to become the person I am now um, and just to realize what's important to me. L.A. Urab. What hast du für Tipps, um mehr Motivation zu kriegen? Weil ich habe wirklich null. Ooh, that's a tough one, guys. That's a tough one. Especially if that's true, I want to help you. Like, I really want to help you right now. I'm sure a lot of people have that issue that they don't have the motivation to do something. I don't know how long you have been following me on Instagram or YouTube, but I think a couple weeks ago I talked about the why. This why will motivate you to do something 
you don't want to do because you know that's the only way to achieve your why, your goal. Because if you don't have a why, if you don't have a goal, you, you get up in the morning and, and you don't know why you're getting up. You're like, I could sleep for the rest of the day. Why? Because you don't know your why, you don't know your goal. So you go to school, you go to work, and you just wait till the day is over. Maybe that helps you. I was at the same position. I was I was in Austria, I was, I was not happy with my life. I was like, I wanna achieve something. Fitness, acting, that's what I wanna do. How do I achieve that? So I knew what I wanted, but I didn't do anything to achieve it. And then at one point I was like, okay, I have to do that. I have to take the risk, you know, leave everything behind, move to the United States, and fulfill my dream. So I knew why I did all of that. Was it risky? Yeah. Was it scary? Oh yeah. But I did it anyways and it paid off. So right now you need to figure out what's your why. What do you want to achieve in life? Don't listen to naysayers. If they tell you you can't do something, just try to overhear it. You don't need negativity in your life. And you know what? I help you one more thing. You are part of the fittest community on YouTube. So now here's your motivation because everybody in our community helps each other. I wanna create the most energetic, the most positive community on YouTube. I think it's Laura. Now now I just figured out that it might be Laura BH. So Laura, here's your motivation. You are part of this community and we take care of you. We motivate each other and we work out together. That's what we do. That's it for today's workout, guys. Workout? That's, that was not a workout, to be honest. That was a video. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. One more thing before we end this video. Please do me a favor and follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because those two platforms are my major platforms. I spend the most time on them and I create content for both of them all the time. So don't miss out. Follow? Subscribe. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you next time.